Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Tom Spark and today we're doing another spin the wheel uh, test to see what people think of a VPN. Now I'm going to spin the wheel to pick a randomly selected VPN from a list of say 30 or so VPNs. Now in this video I'm going to be looking at what other people are saying about a VPN in particular and seeing you know what is good or what should be avoided about said VPN. Anyways guys, I actually ended up not recording this video uh, in my first recording so I'm going to be doing a voiceover as I am right now. So pardon the lips not being synced up correctly. But anyways guys, we're going to spin this wheel and pick a VPN to check out today. So here we go, spinning the wheel and today we ended up actually with Hide Me VPN. So here we go, we have the VPN here, a uh, free pricing plan, $10 a month and $5 a month for the plus plan with some more restrictions. Now as you can see here, the free plan does have that 2 gigabyte data transfer and one simultaneous connection limit. Not quite as good as something like Windscribe, but I mean, it's not the worst pricing plan I've ever seen and they do offer a free option which might not be able to trust it. Here we go, we found some information on VPN reviews where this guy was talking about how using his free plan, he actually got pretty good speeds. And then once he upgraded, he actually got speed decreases and it seemed like as soon as he upgraded and paid for the product, uh, the company kind of bandwidth and throttled him uh, once he actually did give them money, which is the best bit sketchy. You're going to always have to be careful with these free VPNs, right? But anyways, doing some more research, I actually found the same guy talking to a high employee. And it turns out that this guy was connecting to some servers on the free version that weren't available in the paid version. That's a little bit weird. You'd expect, uh, you know, plenty of options in both cases. But in the cases of this guy, he actually had a better experience with the free version that he wasn't able to replicate in the premium version. So that should be something to watch out for if you're having good experiences on the free version. Maybe you're not actually going to get as good as speeds in the paid version with those servers. A couple of other reviews here I found on Reddit. Uh, this guy is complaining that uh, he actually got bandwidth throttled for using four terabytes in two days. That's an insane amount of data to use. Usually only in a month I use around one terabyte. So I can't imagine what this guy was doing to download four terabytes um, in two days. That's probably understandable that this VPN actually bandwidth or throttled him. I can see most other VPNs honestly doing this just to maintain the integrity of their network. Um, who knows how much guy, how much this was costing them or taking away other bandwidth from other users. So not a big deal in my opinion. Another interesting thing I found is actually a review kind of talking about some of the problems with Hi.me on Quora. But if you go down, you can actually see that the, the response was written by pretty much a pure VPN employee, as well as a sweet, sweet discount code down below that. So guys, remember, even when you're looking at critical things, you're going to have to, you know, look out for some of these, you know, smear campaigns from other competitors. Here we are on Trustpilot, which sometimes gives a decent uh, representation of what people think of a VPN. And for Hide.me, unfortunately, we're limited to around, you know, five responses. Uh, some of them are, you know, pretty positive. This review looks pretty legit from a guy who's written 14 reviews, but almost every single one of his reviews has been positive. A couple of other reviews have only one review on their account and they're very positive as well with not too much detail given. So I'm not really too trustworthy. Uh, trusting of this trust pilot score seems to be okay, but honestly not that good of a representation of what people think of this VPN provider, just because it does seem to be a bit smaller than some other responses out there. Um, some other VPN providers have a lot of trust pilot uh, responses and scores, giving you some idea of you know what people have problems with and so on. But unfortunately, that's not the case with Hide.me. So when I first took a look at Hide.me a couple of years ago, Hide.me was actually $20 a month. This actually surprised me when checking it out right now. I reviewed this quite a bit of time ago, so the price difference here is a bit strange. I'm not sure if this company was bought out or they just realized that they weren't making any money, so they decided to price their VPN appropriately. Now most VPNs are around $10 to $13. So I'm not really sure what they're going for with that $20 price tag. Maybe it was just a noob trap or something like that. Not quite sure what the problem is. But as you can see in my review, I had problems with slow speeds. Um, it's expensive at the time. The live chat didn't work that well and servers weren't that reliable either. Now the application was fine and some other things, um, you know, like the privacy settings were okay. But overall at the time I gave Hide.me a 6.6 .6, which is pretty mediocre. Found another de decent representation of Hide.me on another website. Um, they said that Hide.me is not really worth checking out just because Windscribe offers better free plans and overall is a better uh, VPN to use. I would actually agree with this assessment since so Windscribe is one of my top free VPNs. 
Although check out their Twitter, you can see that sometimes they're a little bit um, explosive and their PR is not always up to par. I've had them actually criticize me in a couple of my videos for maybe getting some information wrong about their VPN and they're definitely quick to criticize or flame or do anything really on Twitter to kind of stir the pot a bit. But besides that, they're a pretty decent VPN, probably better than Hide.me in terms of most everything. But anyways guys, let's finish off this video. So Hide.me, what do people think of it? Well, most people don't really seem to like the previous high price point, but now that the price has been lowered, I honestly don't see too many people talking about it. It's a pretty small VPN, and at the time of my review, and even more current reviews that I've seen people do, they kind of complain about slow speeds and things like that. Overall, it's not really that great of a VPN and doesn't really stick out too much to me. It's not super controversial or anything like that. It's just kind of, you know, a little bit hidden. Anyways, guys, I'm not really too sure exactly what happened with the price point as well, but just kind of ske uh, sketchy in my opinion. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this Hide.me, you know, quick look of their reputation and what others think of it. Let me know if you like this video down in the comments down below.